Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Last time I posted a tutorial, it got like like an actual reasonable amount of views for my standards, so I've decided I'm gonna do another one. Last one was completely random, it was how to install a custom mouse cursor like I have right now, and apparently a lot of people wanted to know that. Today we're gonna learn how to have uh, an, a music visualizer on your desktop, and if you don't know what that is, it's like those little bars that go up and down when you listen to music, like, uh, here's an example of what mine looks like, basically. But yeah, basically, basically that. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Super easy. Um, maybe even easier than a custom mouse pointer. I'm not sure. But um, basically, the first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, get a program. And this is obviously for Windows 10, uh, as you probably could tell by reading the title of the video. We're gonna need a program called Rain Meter first of all. And Rain Meter, you may or may not have heard of it already. It's pretty popular software on Windows, and it can be used for a whole ton of stuff. Anyway, it's spelled like this: Rain Meter, like that. And uh, It'll probably be the first thing that comes up when you uh, search it on Google rainmeter.net. And essentially, it is what it sounds like. It's a desktop customization tool. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but basically what it does is you can completely revamp your desktop with it. And there's a whole lot you can do with it, but we're just going to be making a music visualizer. That's literally it. But uh, we'll go with this final release download. And uh, what you're going to want to do is hit download. Obviously, so far, so good. Save the file. And... and uh, execute the file. So pretty much it's just like installing a program on Windows like you would just install any other program, right? Uh, standard installation for most of you that will be what you want. Uh, install it somewhere and the launch rain meter on startup. So like if you want, if you don't want to have to uh, click and launch rain meter each time you want your visualizer to pop up, just leave that checked and install. Yes. And uh, wait for that to install and uh, you should be good. So you have rain meter. That's like the backbone of this whole thing. That's what you're going to need for the visualizer to actually work because what the visualizer is, is it's a rain meter, it's a rain meter plugin, I guess you could say. I don't know if you would call it that, but it's just basically an element that you can add into rain meter. This someone made, someone on a DeviantArt made it, I think. So I have the link saved in my Chrome here, but I'll just paste this link in the description of the video so you guys can just click on it. And it's called Fountain of Colors Desktop Music Visualizer and it's for rain meter. So once you have installed Rain Meter like we just covered, you're going to download this thing. And it, the download button's right up here. Go ahead and download that. And wait 10 years for it to download. On. There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. And uh, basically how Rain Meter works is the files... Rain Meter files are... Uh, what are they? What's the extension? I think it's like .rm skin or something. Let's actually check real quick. Rain meter skin is .rm skin, yep. So that's its own file type, basically. So we'll just rename this music visualizer. I think it's with a Z. Anyhow, so you're gonna double click it, and it's super, It's this, this is super easy, guys. So music visualizer, right? You got your rain meter skin, you just downloaded it from DeviantArt or whatever. You have your music visualizer here, and this goes for like any rain meter plugin, I guess. Launch the little, execute the little file, okay? Uh, found the colors, yeah. And right now, for me, it's backup and replace. Um, and these are the two plugins that it needs to run, the DLL files. And uh, for me, it's just backing it up and replace, or and or replacing it because I already have it installed. But for you, you'll just normally install it, and uh, then you'll be good. And you'll get this uh, little window, which is actually all your options, basically, as you can see. Uh, you could do like a single color and then just pick whatever color you want from the spectrum. You could do random colors, which is what I have, I think. Custom colors, which is where it's a s certain types of colors, like th pick three or whatever, individual. These are pretty self-explanatory options, right? Wallpaper colors, you can make it based on your wallpaper, based on your taskbar, etc., etc. Uh, and this, this, this is also really nice. So you can ch pick the exact number of bars that you want up to, I think it's like anywhere from three or something. What's lowest? You can actually go zero. That doesn't make sense. You can go anywhere from one bar, which I don't know how that even works, but one all the way to, I think, 200, right? Yeah. Attack speed is like how fast it's going to shoot up. Decay speed, vice versa, how fast it's going to go down. And the smoothness is essentially how smooth it is, basically what it sounds like. Sensitivity is how sensitive it is, obviously, to different sounds. If it's if it's highly sensitive, it's going to always be up at the top. And if it's not very sensitive, it's going to be waiting for that big 
sound boost to kick up basically. But yeah, here's your options. Adjust that how you will. You can check if rain meter is running. If rain meter, if you don't know if it's running or not, you can launch it by just Googling, or not Googling, but searching it up here in the little search box, I guess you would call this, and launching it. But if you want to check to see if it's running or not, down here in the corner, show hidden icons, there will be a little rain meter icon right here, if it's running. And uh, so yeah, just to double check that it's working now, we're just going to play some beautiful music. Uh, let's just Google it up. Uh, most beautiful music ever. Copyright strike. They're beautiful, beautiful. All right, so now we're going to learn how to edit some, uh, I better get some non-copyrighted music going on here because I, I'm going to get a, a copyright strike. And you want to adjust settings on the fly, right? And right now, first of all, first things first, it's, it's helpful to adjust settings when there's actually something playing because then you can right click on here and you have options, which I'll go into later. And at this point, you've got the visualizer installed. It's just a matter of configuring it how you want it to be, basically. And right now, I have monitor over here and over here, so that's why it keeps clipping over to those sides. But we're going to work on getting it where you want it. So obviously, you can drag it anywhere on the screen. And like, like you saw, we had angles, so we could adjust angle. But for the time being, let's, let's make it fit. Let's make it fit the monitor, right? What, what's nice is back in the day when I first installed this, you had to do all the settings through this. But now you can just open the settings window and bam. These are actual rain meter settings, like hide on mouse over. You can make it like 40-50% uh, transparent if you want. If you want to edit some, like I said, if you want to edit some of the settings that are unique to this, then you just go right click this thing, open settings window, you get this nice intuitive window here that I'm pretty sure everyone, all of you can figure this out. This is pretty straightforward. Um, I'm, I'm just seeing it for the first time actually right now because when I downloaded I had an old version that didn't have this window no oh, so this is what the rotation yeah that's what I thought see rotation angle yeah that's a little I mean I can't I can see like this being useful if you want to get really artistic with it and you want to like have some type of abstract wallpaper which includes a line going this way which you want to have the visualizer popping out of or something I can see that being useful in that type of situation I'm not going that hardcore, not just yet, so we're just going to stick with a zero degrees music player. Oh, so you can actually select a music player here, that's pretty cool. But, I mean, you can see I have music playing off YouTube right now, and that's still fine. Of course, non-copyrighted. Uh-oh, I reset them. Okay. Well, that's how you reset the audio settings. The button that says reset audio settings. Wow, intuitive. The invert spectrum. So this is, it's going to make the bass go... If you invert it, I guess. Hmm, let's, let me let me double check that before I make a claim here. Yeah, if you invert the spectrum, the bass is going to be on the right, and the treble is going to be on the left. If that makes sense. And if you so like, a normal spectrum would be bass down here at the left, which is probably what most of you are used to. It's what I'm used to. And then inverted will be bass on the right here. And when I say bass, you know what I mean. I mean the lower frequency sounds. I'm not, I'm not a big music guy, so I might be misusing this terminology, but I think I got the point across. Loudness equalization, that's an interesting setting, I wonder what that was. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, so I guess it, yeah, I, I think loudest equalization, like, since I have the YouTube volume very low right now, but it's still picking it up, like, if even if I had it really loud, because it just takes that and it takes the average, it takes the averages of how loud the sound is at the time, if that makes sense. Like, it gauges it. It gauges it instead of just, if I were to blast my speakers, they'd be all at the top. And if I were to put it really low down like this, there would be nothing showing up. See, if I turn loudness equalization, loudness equalization off, um, <clears throat> they all disappear because my volume's so low. And I, I bet if I were to boost this way up. Yeah, so you can you can kind of see how that works. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna always, I always turn that on. Uh... And by always, I mean I just found out what it did, and I'm going to keep it turned on. Guys, guys, I think I've overdone it. I think I've overdone it. Oh, this is just fantastic. Okay, guys. Here we go, here we go. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial. Uh, I've talked enough. Basically, it's gotten to the point where I've overdone it. Well, this is your visualizer. And uh, after some adjustments, I got it the way I wanted it. And uh, basically how I showed you at the beginning of the video is the settings I like it on. But at the end of the day, whatever settings you want, there's there's enough settings here that I'm pretty sure everyone can be at least somewhat satisfied. But very good, I think my favorite rain meter skin I've found yet. 
super fun to it, it, it's just better it's just it's just another way to improve the desktop experience and that's that's about it for this tutorial though uh hope you learned something hope you added a visualizer to your desktop if you didn't already have one i can't live without mine now and uh yeah that's i hope it improves the desktop experience by like maybe like five percent if uh anyhow this was a pretty boring video for the most part, so sorry about that, but at least you might know something now. If you already knew how to do this, or you already have a music visualizer on your desktop, my only question, I guess, would be, why did you watch all the way to the end? But thanks for watching to the end regardless. Uh, it helps bump those YouTube statistics up. I gotta fix my music visualizer now. I screwed it all up. If you got any friends that are like, hey, uh, Joey, I could really use a music visualizer on my desktop, link them to this video, okay? Please, I'm begging you.